Gen Men. Let's go. Do it for the many. Msanii kutokia Ghana aitwaye Stoneboy amefanyiwa interview huko nchini Marekani na kituo kikubwa cha radio kituo cha Power 1.5 kwenye kipindi kituo cha Breakfast Club na kitu ambacho kwa sasa kimeza kuchukua nafasi hasa kwa nchini Jawi yani swali ambalo mtangazaji Sharma the Guard alipomuuliza Stanboy kuwa wanajisikiaje maana wanaonaje kwa nini muziki wa wasanii wa Nigeria umeweza kuchukua nafasi tena kwa kupenya trade kulimwengu kuliko ilivyo kwa muziki wa Ghana and kwanza hiki ni kitu ambacho Stanboy mwenyewe ameweza kukiri na kusema kwamba ni kweli wa Nigeria ameweza kuzipiga hatua kubwa sana kwenye muziki na kusema kwamba yeye hana kinyongo kwa mafanikio yao na kisha kuzitaja siri ama kutaja sababu ambazo zimeweza kuwapelekea wa Nigeria kuvuka mipaka kwenye soko la muziki na kusema kuwa wa Nigeria wameweza kupenda trade kirahisi sana ama muziki wao kuweza kupiga hatua kubwa kutokana kuwa wana kiri kubwa sana wana njia ya mafanikio halafu sio hivyo tunu ya kakamavu yani watu ambao wanapigania kitu fulani kuweza kuhakikisha wanakifanikisha lakini hii haitengenezi utengano kati ya taifa moja na jingine akimaanisha kwamba Ghana pamoja na Nigeria wao bado ni ndugu na kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo wako connected for instance msanii kama Bana Boy aliwahi kukiri mwenyewe kuwa muziki anaofanya kuna baadhi ya vitu ambavyo amekuwa inspired kutoka kwenye taifa la Ghana lakini kuna ushirikiano na maundugu baina ya mataifa hayo hasa upande wa mastaa akamtaja mtu kama David ama whisky ambaye anamjengo ambao upo Ghana na ni mara kadhaa huwa anaenda kuishi huko msikie hiki ambacho nakisema hapa standby na ufa mtu hii sio mara kwanza kwa msanii mkubwa kutokea Ghana kuweza kuwa zungumzia in a positive way wasanii ama muziki wa Nigeria ndio ambavyo wamekuwa kufanya vizuri sana kwa pale Afrika na nje ya Afrika kwani pia shatoare mara kadhaa kupitia kwenye kurasa kwa Instagram na ta Twitter amekuwa kikiri hili hiyo hapa ni SNS Management why, why do you think Ghana hasn't had the uh, musical success that Nigeria has seems like all the artists that's, mm-hmm. that's popping from the motherland are from Nigeria why do you think that is um it's you know um that's a big one truth be told I've always had I mean discussions all of the big ones from Nigeria are my brothers definitely um you know we've been trying to crack this but we all believe that um the number factor is part of it mm-hmm. and then that not being the first on the list for me I appreciate my Nigerian brothers for their tenacity you know and their aggressiveness and also their mindset you know and the beautiful thing is we all tap into that because these are our brothers no matter no matter how how you you want to put borders around it we are one people so is all of us in the end we play our roles they play their roles as well interestingly every of their top lister has their find inspiration in Ghana basically like mm-hmm. Bernard says it often yeah, this kid literally lives in Ghana David was like a brother that's 247 we're together so we all keep in, you know playing our individual roles to get us all out there you know we cannot we we we, we cannot all be in the front seat yeah. you know but i mean it's it's a long queue in the back what did you think when uh when we see Meek Mill over there and Meek Mill was was riding the bikes through the hood and everything <laughs> like that like i thought i thought it was dope cuz 